The following question reads that you have 0.1 gram of a volatile liquid X and uh, it's formed 0.025 grams of vapor is being formed at 100 degrees centigrade and atmospheric pressure and then it reads that one mole of vapor occupies 22.4 dm cube at 0 degrees centigrade and atmospheric pressure and you're being asked to find what is the relative molecular mass of X. Now for X the first thing you should note is that you're given the mass so the mass is already known this is 0.1 grams. Uh, you're given the volume of the vapor that's also given and you're given the temperature and uh, the atmospheric pressure is not given. So we're going to take atmospheric pressure as let's call that P. Now I'm going to use the ideal gas equation and I'm going to put in uh, the values that are provided for this vapor into this ideal gas equation where pressure is going to be taken as P. It's the atmospheric pressure so that value is not provided. Volume is given as 0 0.025 decimeter cube so it's given as 0 0.0. 25 decimeter cube but remember it should be in meter cube so that so that should be multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 to convert that into into meter cube so remember decimeter cube to meter cube multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 and uh, then you have uh, the other information that's provided is uh, n is the number of moles so it's going to be mass which is 0.1 grams uh, divided by the mr which is unknown this is what we are going to try and calculate the mr of x and then there's the gas constant which is R so multiplied by 8.31 but I'm going to keep that as R and then you have to multiply it by the temperature which should be in Kelvin so 100 degrees centigrade if you add 273 it's going to be 373 Kelvins. Now what I need to do is I need to make MR the subject of the equation because uh, we are being asked to find the molecular mass or MR of X. So if I make MR the subject of the equation, I need to rearrange all the terms. It's going to be 0 0.1 multiplied by R multiplied by 373 and then I'm going to divide it by, uh, I'm going to take uh, P and 0.025 into 10 to the minus 3 and put it in MR's position. I'm going to switch the position. So it's going to be P multiplied by 0 0.025 times 10 to the power minus 3. So this is my expression for MR. Now the one thing that you're going to notice is that uh, there is no expression which is similar to this one because we need to bring in this value of P. So we need to know what this value of P is. Only then will our expression for MR will, will it be complete. Once again note down this expression. Now what we just need to do is we need to get this find this value of P. For that there was another statement that was given and that was this statement over here that one mole of vapor occupies 22.4 decimeter cube at 0 degree centigrade and atmospheric pressure and again atmospheric pressure is being taken as the symbol P. Uh, I'm going to use uh, this information. Now remember this information is, is for a different sample of vapor which is one mole. So I'm going to use the PV is equal to NRT again and I'm going to uh, substitute uh, these values into PV is equal to NRT and let's do that. So if I use uh, PV is equal to energy for this, it's going to be P would be the atmospheric pressure P. Uh, v volume, uh, that would be 22.4 times 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube. N is number of moles which is given as 1. So moles is given as 1. R is uh, the gas constant which is going to be 8.31. And temperature T is given as 0 degree centigrade. So it's going to be into R. 0 degree centigrade would be 273. Calvins. So I've gotten another expression for PV is equal to NRT uh, because a second set of information was provided for the for the vapor. Now what I'm going to do is I needed P. I had the expression for MR but I did not have a value for P. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make P the subject of the equation and I'm going to substitute the, uh, the expression for P in this expression over here. So if I make P the subject of the equation over here what I just need to do is I need to just get rid of 22.4 into 10 to the minus 3 from this side. And I'm going to put it over this side. So my P is basically equal to R into 273 divided by 22.4 into 10 power minus 3. And I'm going to substitute this P, this value of P atmospheric pressure into this expression for P. And then I'm going to get the expression for MR. And let's do that now. So MR is going to be equal to 0 0.1 into R into 373 and divided by P. So I'm going to put P over here. So it's going to be R into 273. Let's use a different colored marker. So it's going to be R 
times 273. So it's going to be r times 273 divided by 22.4 into 10 to the power minus 3. So 22.4 times 10 to the power minus 3. And then it's uh, being multiplied by 0 0.025 into 10 to the power minus 3. So it's going to be multiplied by 0 0.025 times 10 to the power minus 3. And I'm going to start cancelling things out now. So the first thing to go is the 10 to the power minus 3. That's gone. Uh, then you have uh, the R get, gets cancelled out. So it's going to be 0 0.1 uh, multiplied by 373. And since this 22.4 is being divided over here, if uh, this can be taken on top and it could be multiplied over here. So it's going to be 22.4. That would be multiplied. So, so my expression now, if you look carefully, my expression is 0 0.1. Multiplied by 373, multiplied by 22.4, divided by 273 into 0.025. So if you look and match this expression now, this expression would be very similar to, it's going to be, it looks to be, if you look carefully at all the expressions, it's going to be 0.1 multiplied by 373, multiplied by 22.4, uh, divided by 0 0.025 into 2. So it's going to be option D. Option D is going to be the exact same expression for the MR of X, the MR of the vapor. Option D is going to be the correct option for this question.